Alrighty, folks. Uh, thought I'd give y'all an update on the planting situation. Uh, first off, I've uh, got several videos. Well, several, just a handful. I'm trying to catch up on. So, uh, but I'm trying to give updates in between. So, uh, basically, there's still some more videos coming out of the planner, uh, and there's some videos to come of me planting. I actually did plant. Uh, so I believe I raised the question um, on the 10th of April, whether to plant or not to plant. I outlined the scenario. So if you want to know the weather scenario that I outlined, um, uh, you can go back and look at that video. But today is April the 13th, so I did plant on April the 11th. Um, and everything went pretty smooth there. Uh, like I said, there's some video coming up of of me planting some little snippets here and there. I, it was a pretty long day. Uh, I did have one issue that uh, delayed me uh, for an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Um, so uh, I didn't get plant get and get everything set like I wanted it to, and didn't get to planting until about 12 o'clock. And I didn't finish till it was about 9.30 that evening on that 10 acres with a two-row planter. But again, I did have about an hour and a half, two-hour mishap that slowed me down. Uh, and I could have started earlier in the day. It was just we had a really cold night uh, in that uh, uh, frost there, which the time I got to stir and I didn't really see it. But... The ground was wet and it was cool and I was just letting things warm up. So the time I got everything in the field got going, got the planter set like I wanted it to and I actually started putting seed in the ground, it was around 12 o'clock. Uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, as for the weather, um, the uh, cold snap part of the forecast is looking to be minimal now it's only going to be maybe three-ish days and we're going to start warming back up hitting some 70s so i'm not really worried about that right now uh but i did have a big scare yesterday so one of the other highlights of the the situation i highlighted near the video whether to plant or not to plant was um the um rain coming too that was forecasted for late saturday night and through sunday uh the brunt of the rain hit yesterday evening uh i say it started probably around four o'clock i set a rain gauge out and uh it ended sometime in the night with the biggest downpour i'd say in the eight nine o'clock time frame last night so the scare was so when i originally looked at the forecast yeah they were predicting you know an inch to two inches in the daytime and another inch to two inches in the nighttime so typically when you see that um you know i figured we'd get an average of an inch during the daytime an average of an inch in the nighttime so i was expecting maybe two inches of rain i wasn't too worried about that uh However, we wound up getting five and a quarter to five and a half inches of rain, and most of that in a very short period of time last night. Um, and I uh, came down here, looked at my rain gauge after the, the big downpours went through, and it was setting right at five inches, which is its top mark. It was, it was there's maybe another quarter inch, and it overflows. Uh, so I immediately, I read it, poured it out, set it back down, and over the night, we got another quarter inch in it. Uh, now, I was just slightly late setting that out when the rain started yesterday, so I might have missed a, no more than a quarter inch. It may have not even amounted to that much from the time I actually put the rain gauge out yesterday. Uh, I was here at the shed, and I just happened to think, oh, I got a rain gauge, I already put it out, see how much we get. So here's <laughs> here's the thing. I got all that planted, and uh, we had some major flooding uh, yesterday. I wasn't too worried about the field flooding. 
Uh, however, it's on a slight gentle slope and I was worried about it washing. Uh, so uh, when last night we actually had water over some of the roads here that uh, in my lifetime, that's only the second time I've seen it over that area of the road. It was that bad. Uh, and it washed the roads bad. There's actually roads that are washed out. There's culverts washed out. I even seen a place today where water lines were washed out because the ditches washed so bad and widened out and went so deep that it got down to utilities. Uh, so, uh, and that was actually on the way to a cornfield a while ago. So me and my wife went over and we walked the field. I didn't know what I was going to find really. Uh, one of the things, and you'll see in the upcoming video of me planting, is the field had a good stand of some type of grass all over it that I killed off. Uh, it wasn't sowed, but the almost the entire field had it, and it had a good root system. I had a little issue with the row cleaners when I was my initial settings because if the row cleaners hit the ground, it would rip up some pretty big side clods. Uh, so I wound up having to run my row cleaners up just above the ground a hair, uh, basically to knock out any obstacles uh, or ununiform ground uh, because I didn't want it to digging up dirt, big clods of dirt. So that was a good thing, the grass and the roots. That held the ground together. Uh, I'll try to insert some photos here uh, in this video, either right about now if it lets me or here at the end of the video. But... Um, basically um i think i'm in good shape i don't think anything was hurt too bad there was one big wash across the field where it didn't really wash the field but you could tell where a lot of water had run across the field uh, and occasionally i'd find a furrow and it was in spots where the row cleaner would hit and uh, kind of clear out some and loosen up the dirt that actually washed out the furrow. Uh, I did find one furrow where I looked down and I seen two seed just in the dirt. It had washed the furrow down two inches, but it was just that spot. I, I, that was that was the only one I seen. I suspect there's a few more around in the field, but I think it was minimal damage done. Uh, I didn't see any standing water. So that was also good, uh, except where you entered the field, and I didn't really plant there anyway. But, um, yeah, I think I'll be okay. Uh, the, uh, like I said, it is wet, and it is going to turn cool for a couple days, so that's not the best thing, but I think everything will hold out until we hit this warm next warm weather, and I think they'll start probably trying to come up. So... Anyway, I was kind of nervous through the night and what I was going to find when I got to the field. But I think that grass and that it be a no-till and just the way I had things set, it, it's held the furs together and held the uh, seed in the ground. And I think we're good. But there's, there was a few little places, but not many. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's kind of the update on that. Uh, so it is what it is at this point. I do have a little bit of seed left over and I have an acre, two acre spot I may or may not plant towards the end of this week. A uh, couple factors there, if I can get it dry enough and I need to spray it and whatnot, but I may put out a little bit more seed on another area. Uh, so as far as the planter went, the issue I had was the, um, there's some rocks in that field occasionally. Uh, we subsoiled that field when we first went in there a few years back, plowed and distant, and we churned up some rocks. We picked up a lot of rocks, got a lot of rocks out of the field, but the point is there's still some rocks out there. Uh, best I can figure, I, a row cleaner must have hit a rock. So that row cleaner runs right under the the drive shaft say uh from the drive wheel that runs over to my gearing where the chain is uh where you set your rate there's some nicks in that drive shaft 
and best I can figure, a rock or something popped a row cleaner up high enough to hit that drive shaft. Uh, no damage to the drive shaft other than some nicks on it, but it, um, it must have either jammed that shaft hard enough or something, it broke the master link out of the drive chain going from the drive wheel to that drive shaft. So luckily, I didn't hear it or notice it when it happened, but I just happened to get out at the end of the row that it broke on to check my seed. And I seen the chain was dragging behind the planter. So luckily the chain was still there. I uh, didn't have a master link, but um, I had to go digging, tried to figure out where. So it was about halfway down that row I found seeds. So uh, I was familiar with the chain. I knew we had one on the gleaner. So I called my uncle up real quick and was like, hey, you got any spare links? And he thought he did. So I was able to go to his house, pick up a link, uh, couple actually and got back to the field got it pieced back together and got to going again but by the time all that was said and done it was an hour and a half two hours of delay so that was the deal with that but anyway i just want to give you all an update those videos are coming out so stay tuned for them uh if the audio is not so good <laughs> in some of them i'm sorry i'm trying i cannot find any settings i've been having to use my phone and I, I think it has dual mics, so a forward and rear facing. And I think it's trying to toggle back and forth between them. And it, depending on where the sound, noise of the tractor, whatever's coming from, it goes and tries to use that mic instead of the other. And sometimes it makes my audio very faint. I apologize for that. I will try to improve that over time. But... Please don't beat me up too much over it because it is what it is and I can't seem to find a way to control it at the moment. Um, anyway, that said, I'm going to end this video. There's your update. Uh, maybe when the corn starts popping up the ground, I'll let y'all see that and I'll try to get a few photos of here of some of the flooding and the washing in the field and that. But I think I'm okay. <laughs> uh, and if I had waited... I don't know when I'd get in that field. I mean, it's wet now. So we're looking at another week, two week delay uh, if I had not planted. So at this point, it is what it is. So anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.